Okay, today we're going to add a switch task to our conductor workflow. And in the Orcus Cloud Playground, it's very easy to do. We have no other tasks here, so we'll start here at start. And we will add a switch task. And so this switch task we can name, we can call it switcheroo. All right. And we can call it switcheroo ref. So that's there. And then what happens when a switch case, switch, what a switch task does is it either will take the parameters that come in and based, whoops, what did I do? Based on the parameters that come in, it will just take that value and we'll have different cases. So if it's true, it goes this way. If it's false, it goes this way. If it's red, it goes this way. If it's blue, it goes this way. If it's green, it goes that way, right? Um, we could also have it do some JavaScript. So. If it's less than zero, go this way. If it's greater than zero, go that way. You know, any you know, the world is your oyster, right? You can do anything you want there. Um, and then what happens is you can define the different cases. So in the default case, we could add a um, HTTP task, right? Something's going to happen in the default case. And then maybe we have a different case here, so we can add a second case. And this one, maybe we terminate the workflow. And then we can add you know another case here and it will run uh, an inline task. And of course, for this all to work, we'd have to define each one of these tasks and put everything in there for it to work. But the switch case, based on the parameters that come in, you can have the workflow shift direction, right? So if something computes to true, go one way. If it computes to false, go the other way, right? Because your workflow is gonna have different logic depending on whether that's true or false. Um, Rather than go through here and you know create a JavaScript expression, if it's true, go this way, if it's false, go that way, I was gonna show you an example using a famous song. And so this is the Hotel California. And as you know, or as many of you will know, if you don't know it, I'd just go over to YouTube and listen to the song. But in the song, some people dance to remember and some dance to forget. And in this case, I've decided, you know, being the eternal optimist that I am, that most people, the default case is that you're gonna dance to remember. And if the parameter comes out to that you're actually dancing to forget, then it'll take you to this task over here to forget, your, you know, while you're dancing. Um, so again, you can generate the parameters in your switch case to decide whether it's the default case or one of the other cases that exist. And inside, um, inside the code, we can show that right here. Um, here we have a switch task. And the decision case, we have our diff different decision cases. We have to forget, and then we have the default case. I have another switch case in here. Because um, you may require, it, you, you may recall that in the song, the, the singer calls the captain and says, please bring me my wine. And the response is from the captain is, uh, we haven't had that drink since 1969. So I built a switch case here that says, if the time in Unix milliseconds is less than zero, then we can get some wine. But if it's greater than zero, there is no wine because you know, the time zero in the, the, the Unix timestamp of zero is January 1st, 1970. So we've got a Unix eagles pun going on here that's really horrible and i apologize for that but it's a great example for how the switch case works if you have any questions on about how the switch case works feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll get back to it get back to you if you hate my puns or if you love my puns leave a comment below as well we'd love to hear your feedback on that um, if you have any other questions on other types of tasks that you can add into conductor look in the description we're gonna have links to a bunch of the other ones as well thank you for watching